Hello sausages and saveloys, this is Nana Beryl and today we're playing The Sims 2 with the Bumble family and this is part 2 of the Bumble family episodes yes and we're now visiting Hunter's Park today so now the family have arrived at Hunter's Park there's little Sprocket and there's Dr Bumble and his daughter Doris, yes Doris Bumble now he's going to give her a family kiss, that's very lovely of you Mr Bumble now he says, Mum, I want my PlayStation 5, and she says, No, I have something better. Come over here and play with your balls. So he's decided to play with his balls, and what's Mr. Bumble going to do? What are you doing, Dr. Bumble? Where are you going? So he's obviously got out his iPhone and checking his text messages, yes. Decided to check his emails. Now watch where you're going, love. You don't want to walk into anything. Love, keep your eyes on the footpath. Darling, you're going to walk into a tree and trip over. So he hasn't got any emails or text messages. What are you looking at, dear? All right, so now he's going to walk over to these two men who are playing chess. Yes, that's Miss Silatan in the can on the right. And the other one, I think he's called Mr. Handsome from memory. So Mr. Bumble has just turned on the Ghetto Blaster from 1982, yes. That just happens to be magically sitting there in all weathers outside in a park, yes, because that's a normal thing that happens when you go to a park, is to find, is to find technology that plays music sitting everywhere, just out in the fresh air, yes, that's right. And over here we have a pergola. And what else do we have here, love? Oh, we have some toilets. Yes, we have a lavatory. Yes, the other name for a toilet, the lavatory, love. Yes. So it looks like we have a men's and women's lavatories. Now, where are you going, Mr. Bumble? He's walking very slow, isn't he? I think he's got some something wrong with his legs, dear. Did you forget to take your arthritis medication, did you, love? Yes, I think you did. I think we need to get you either a Zimmer frame or maybe even a mobility scooter. Yes, we need to get your mobility scooter, love. Because you're walking a bit slow. Your legs aren't very good, are they, love? No, they're not. Yes, he's not very mobile these days, Dr. Bumble. Now he's pulling out his big stick. That's right, so he's going to play with his stick. <laughs> That's right, so he's just pulled his stick out, but didn't really come to much, did it, love? Sounds a bit like my ex-husband. Yes, Nana Beryl's ex-husband was a bit like that. Didn't come to much. That was a bit rude, wasn't it, love? Yes, sorry about that, dear. It's a bit naughty. And now he's trying again. And is anything going to come of it this time? No. Yes, that's definitely just like my ex-husband. So now this little sprocket's coming along saying, Hello, strange lady who has a son that's an exact look-alike of me, because we're in a simulation. And now she's going to exercise her inner child by skipping along to the swings. Yes, because she wants to have a swing. Because she feels like she's five years old again. Yes, she loves going to the park. She hasn't been to the park in ages, have you, Doris? No, you haven't. So Doris is having a bit of a day, yes. Doris is having a day, love. And now she's just noticed the two men playing chess and she thinks, whoa, they're a bit of a right. I quite like the one with the longer hair. So Doris Bumble has noticed, has noticed the men playing chess and she thinks, love, stop thinking about how sunny it is and take notice of my feminine charms. You're a bit of a dreamboat, I quite like you. I'd like to get into your pants while you're still wearing them. So she's going to sit over in a seat, hoping they'll notice her feminine charms and her amazing pink puffer jacket. Yes, that's right, while well, Mr Bumble goes to the lavatory. Yes. Now where's the sprocket and what are you doing? Now these two men are not interested in Doris, no, they're more interested in the beautiful sunshine and bathing in all the sparkles and sunny weather, yes, on their way back home. 
Yeah, so they, they love the sunshine and all the sparkly weather. So they're about to leave and go to listen to the sound of music when they get back home. Yes, they're going to watch this, the movie, The Sound of Music, because that's their favourite film. And over here we have Little Sprocket, who's discovered the Ghetto Blaster, yes, from the 1980s. And he says, Mum, what is this amazing thing over here that makes music? It's better than my cell phone. And she says, love, it's called a radio cassette recorder. And he says, Mum, you're old. And she says, I know, love. You'll be just like me one day and you'll have wrinkles too. And he says, thanks, Mum. She goes, oh, you're fine. It's fine, love. You're welcome. And then they decide to dance. Now, Mr Bumble, Dr Bumble, has discovered a dead squirrel on his way back from the lavatory and has decided to make dead squirrel sausages. Yes. And now he's about to serve his dead squirrel sausages to everybody. So, come and get it, come and get it. My dead squirrel sausages are amazing. Yes, they are. Hello, love. How are you? Who are you, love? Have you just come out of the military? Would you like some dead squirrel sausages? Sorry, but I haven't got any salt. Now, Doris isn't very happy about the idea of eating dead squirrel. She thinks that's very unhygienic and it might not taste very nice. But here comes Mr Granddaddy Hipster, who's just got back from the ladies of the night nightclub. He's a bit tired, he's a little bit exhausted. Now, what are you doing, love? Do you need to take a pee? I think she needs to take a pee-pee. Yes, Doris is going to take a pee-pee in the lavatory. Yes, the lavatory. Yes, the lavatory up on the pergola. Oh, so just leave them for five minutes. I don't know, I can't leave you guys for five minutes and you act like you belong in a, in a clinic. Yes, you do, love. They're dancing like they belong in a clinic, aren't they? Yes, they are. So her wicked charm boats have, have gone, they've both gone, to listen to the sound of music. Now what are you doing Sprocket, where are you? Oh you're behind the lady with the camouflage pants on aren't you? Yes I see you there now. And they're talking about a Nintendo Switch, yes they are. And Granddaddy was talking about his PlayStation, original PlayStation console, and about how his favourite game was Spyro the Dragon, yes. And he said, Granddad, you're really old too, you're even older than Mum. Because PlayStations are ancient. And he says, I want a PlayStation 5. Yes, I want my PlayStation 5 for my birthday. So Granddaddy Hipster is still dancing, despite the fact that the music has changed. Yes, that's right. So he's, he's going for it. Yes, he is. He's a bit of a groover, isn't he? He's a bit of a groover, Granddad. What do you want, Sprocket? What are you doing? Where is he going? Oh, love, I think we need to get you booked into a paediatrician to get you assessed, love. Yes, you need assessing. Something not right with you, dear. What are you doing, you little weird one? So he's heading back. Oh, no, is, is he heading back to Mum? Where are you going? Are you going to play some chess? No. Oh, do you need to go to the toilet? I think he needs to take a pop. Yes, I do. I think he needs to poop. All right, love, I'm sorry, but we haven't got an enema here. You'll have to go to the toilet. Yes, just go to the toilet over there, love. What are you doing? Yes, you need a paediatrician, either that or a psychiatrist. That's what you need, love. Yes, we need to get you assessed, I think. Either that or sectioned, one of the two. Need to sit you in a clinic, love. Now he's just going to stand there like he's in The Sims 4. You're a bit of a worry, love. Whoa. He's forgotten his daily dose of his medication, I think. It's quite a nice park, isn't it? Quite a nice little park, Hunter's Park. And they're all deciding to go to the toilet, including Granddaddy Hipster, by the looks of it. Oh, are they all going in at once? Oh my gosh, love. We can't have that. It's not appropriate, love. It's only one toilet each, isn't it? What are you doing in there, love? Oh my god, get out of his way. Get, 
can't a man pop in peace? Love, you know you don't have to be playing with the children all the time, dear. You're not a Catholic priest. Yes, the granddaddy hipster gets out of there and is, oh my god, is mum getting changed? What is she doing? Is she washing herself? I think, I think Doris is washing her lady parts, aren't you, love? Yes, too much information, dear. We don't need to see that, it's a bit graphical. Yes, it is. Yes, we don't want to see your lady parts, love. Just move it, moving right along now, I think. Thank God there's some doors. Oh my God, love. Yes, you're fully undressed, aren't you? And she's washing all of her lady parts. All right, that's too much information, dear. But thanks for sharing. Now, I think it's inappropriate for him to go into the bathroom when his granddad is trying to take a pee. Yes, he's having some prostate problems. Yes, he doesn't have a regular flow, love. He needs to see a he needs to see a proctologist. So I think we better send you back home because it's getting late, so it's getting dark. So Mum's going to sit there on the pergola, whatever it's called, while while Granddad oh while Granddad rings a taxi, I think. Yes, you're a bit smelly, aren't you, love? I can smell you from here. That smells enough to knock out a donkey from 7,000 yards, love. Yes, so I think we'll send you straight back home. Yes, I think we will, instead of going out. What's this lady doing here? This is the sen Mrs. Sensitive, isn't it? Yes, and she's she's very pregnant. And darling, what are you doing out this late at night? Oh my God, it's not safe for a woman to walk here alone, love, at night time. Anyway, here comes a taxi to take all of them back home. Yes, now I think we might have to leave this here for now. Yes, I think we will. And we'll continue on with part three next time. When, when I think we might take them on a holiday. Yes, a holiday to an island. Yes, I think we will. So where are you all? So they're on their way home into the taxi as well. Now hurry up, Sprockets, you're going to be late. You're going to be late for your vacation. You need to pack your suitcases. Oh, he's still smelly. Yes, you need to get home and have a shower and put on some, some links, yes. Thank you for watching, dears, and I'll see you next time.